The reason for starting Crazy Horse was pretty simple. Henry Standing Bear saw my dad, Mr. Jaskowski, had won first prize at the New York World's Fair and uh, decided to write him a letter and ask him to do this for the Indians. And he thought, why not do that? What makes Crazy Horse unique is this will be a good way to preserve their culture and, and their history and the values. There's so many things that the Indians have given us that uh, would just be lost if this place wasn't here to help preserve some of those. You know what, there's workers up there and they put their whole hearts into it, otherwise they wouldn't be up there for years. They wouldn't devote their lives to this. They want that done too. And they do what they can to get it done and they're gonna keep at it. Final. The guys on the mountain, up on the ropes and stuff up there, I give them a lot of credit, heads up. What they're doing takes a certain person to do that. They've got a heck of a crew up there. We've got five people that have been here for 20 years. They don't have to worry about the quality of their work. They, they trust each other, they believe in each other. Every single one of them can run every piece of machinery up here. Anything they need to know, they will take the time to learn it. And once they learn it, they'll try to continue to improve on that if it'll make things better. What Crazy Horse is, it is a, uh, an engineering construction project. The artistry has already been accomplished because the head, for instance, is finished, the face. Copied that exactly the way that it was, mathematically. It's blasting, it's using the materials that are out there to do heavy construction work. But when it comes time to do finish work, the art is accomplished as long as we pay attention to the numbers. There have been a lot of changes over the years. One is the explosives industry. You can blast within six inches of grade. The forehead, for instance, was blasted too great. And if you can blast too great, you're pretty good at what you do. The vibration level, that's our main concern, never exceeds three inches per second. And I think the standard for the world is eight inches and above. We're three inches. It takes dedication, it takes pride. For me, is to go slow and to take your time and to not worry that there's a whole bunch of people out there saying, you gotta go faster, you gotta go faster. We can get it done really fast, but how many mistakes will you make along the way? Because it's gonna be here longer than any of us can even imagine if we take our time, if we do it properly. Why is it important to me to be dedicated to carving this. It's really simple. I want my wife and my children to be proud of me. I'll stick with it until I die. But I want my children and grandchildren to be proud of the work that I've done.